Welcome, welcome everyone. Let's see if we can kill some civilians today. <laughs> you pressing matter, you. Yeah, well, this is a pressing mm -hmm. matter, you know? Hey, Shads. Tjena Ragnus, hur är läget? Vad tycker du om snö och vädret vi har då? Vamp it up. <coughs> Isn't that a song by the Rolling Stones moped? Vamp it up. And if you vamp it up, I'll never stop. <laughs> yes, it is, Mars. And all. Hi. Dåligt väder och sälja korv. <laughs> ja, du. I det här vädret så är det svårt att sälja korvar överhuvudtaget, tror jag. Ja, det, jag hostar fortfarande, men annars är det ju ganska bra, skulle jag säga. I think we should do some local investigations. How are you guys doing? Uh, and then that, done that. With Spinothalma, or... Yeah, why not? That doesn't even, doesn't even make any sense, Marius. <laughs> Jag tror smidigast är då att ta in på hotell och sälja den från ett rum, kanske. <laughs> But I don't have any face, Marius. Maybe I spy on... I should spy on them. That's the white chow. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, you do that, Agnes. Well, thank you for stopping by. Was it out here? I don't understand this map at all. I'm here and lurking, yeah, no. And Mars, that, that's fu fu funny every Good time. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. I don't know, should I trade with him with something, maybe? Really, but I'm sure they can be useful. So what do I have? I don't have that much money. Codeine, potassium, <coughs> opium. <coughs> oh, so we can craft things, maybe? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's... Is this still locked? It's locked. Yes. So who is spying on Thelma? It should be here. Or maybe it has to be morning? That's locked. Uh, 
Why does the map have to be top of the morning to you? Wait, it's morning already? Oh my god, this... I don't like this. Because it has to be right here, somewhere. And we can get in. And the only person here is Prakash. Thirty meters, meters. Oh my god. Well, you know, Mars, I haven't killed anything in my last stream, so I think it's time to kill some civilian. <laughs> if I only can find one. Join the ranks! Oh! Could this be it? Uh oh! Uh oh! Two of them! Oh no, don't see me. Steady boys! Fuck. We've got one of them here. Oh. No. Oh, come on. Ouch. Vampire activity, hospital survey in and investigate. Oh, so they think she's a vampire? I'm not sure about that. Vampires, no way! No. <laughs> it's just a figment of their imagination. Hi back, I'm Sarek. Or should I say front? Find the local command post. Curfew. Oh, is that his level eighteen? Gonna die. Oh my God! One hit and he took all almost my entire life or health bar. Oh my god! And he did! <laughs> oh shit! I have to understand how the gun works. Uh oh. 
Did he buff himself? Two more. Die, please. Wet booed boys. Oh, is this the way to White Chapel? That's the main mission. I don't. I don't want to do it out. Oh, it's the same way. Okay. Welcome back. See. You. I have this thirst for blood. I hope you can say it today as well. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh! He shivved me? Oh my god. Oh no, not again. Come on, eat him. Oh my god! What the hell? Stop it! Oh no, I'm gonna die. Ah! Maybe I need to craft some health potions. Got him. Shaved you with a shank and shanked you <laughs> with a shoe. What are you talking about, moped? Come on. <laughs> but how did I bite myself so I could gain more health? Wasn't there a way? Uh oh. No civilians allowed, sir. Don't come closer. Don't come closer. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my! I'm locked in. Wait, I'm not lo locked in here with them, they're locked in here with me, right? But I'm almost dead. Yeah, fuck. Right. Why did I have to close the door? It wasn't very nice. But by the way, no. But how the hell do I use my my gun? Oh no! I have to kill this dude again. Pull the trigger, but I. Oh, he, he's dead.
Is it only... Oh no, there are two here. Uh oh. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh my god! Uh oh. That's not very nice. Stop shoot me! Come on! Take that! Grenade! Uh, <laughs> I have no idea, moped. But uh, since you're asking, I, I don't think so. Oh, is it R2 that can give me more back my health? We can take a look at that later. But I don't think I ever unequipped it. Is there anything here? <laughs> well, didn't I use it in, in, in my first stream? During the tutorial. I'm almost certain of it. Screws and grease. Wait, I have an inventory? Are you kidding me? You mean this? Oh, there it is. <laughs> but how would it? Can I change them? Oh, okay. Thanks, Moped. <laughs> oh. this a clue? Oh, more rats. Don't mind if I do. I got the thirst for rat blood. Congratulations, Puppet. But are you playing against. <coughs> two year olds, maybe? Okay, I can't. Oh my god, I used all of it. <coughs> all people. Did you just. Refer yourself as old. Okay, can we? Where are them buggers? One there and one down there. Can we surprise this person? Nope. 
Oh! Come on. Ah. Come on. Hey, Relishy. How are you doing today? Oh, my stamina is gone. Come on. He's dead. Ouch. Die. Average age of the top eight in Street Fighter Five at he was was twenty eight. And Smash Bros were twenty. <laughs> yeah, I believe you have to be under like thirty. So you still have some reaction. Still, there's safer places to be than here. Yeah, fuck you. God. Nope. Ouch. Stop shoot me. Ah. Die again. Maybe you should uh, use us. Fuck. I should have used the serum. It is good playing like a dragon, Ishin, and have been drinking Portello with my favorite soda. Oh, that sounds really good, Raleshi. Have you worked today? Oh, I can. Okay. Can I do something with my XP, maybe? Or maybe I should just play better, you know? Locked lock. Oh. Increase your health, but I don't. I want either stamina or defense. Seven to four. <laughs> that is a great time, only depends on how, how long you have to commute to work, that is. Try some potato, potatoes pulp. 
I have this thirst for blood. He said it! Did you hear him mope it? He's put the taught his butt good. A leech! A leech! A leech? You can be a leech, fucker. Ah. I'm almost certain I haven't tasted it. Relaxy. Give me some blood. Ah. Die. No, but you, you <laughs> since you play this, the number ten in the left corner is that my level or something? Ouch! It's my blood power, which means okay. Yummy, yummy. Can we do this now without killing? Oh, cool. Ah! On a scale from 10 to 10, Relishi, how, how pumped are you for our meetup summer? Die! Ouch! This fucking brute, he can take a punch. But can he take a fucking bite? Yeah, that's pretty pumped, alright. Oh my god! Come at me. What? He shot me through the wall? Oh my god. Stop doing that. The mother fucker. Should we try this as well? What? What the hell was that? Oh my god. Oh shit! I, I didn't want to do that. What? He can shoot through walls? Now that's just real bullshit. And you know that. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> this time it's gonna be my turn. I can't believe I'm doing this. Om det är smart att söka i god tid.
Jag vet ju tyvärr inte hur min semester kommer att ligga eftersom jag har bytt jobb. Så vi får se helt enkelt. Kan jag? Ah! Just kill this dude first. Ja, det gick bra de första två veckorna, sen blev vi sjuka. Men det är mycket att hålla reda på, så lite för tid att säga. Jag tror det går ganska bra. Oh my god. Die. Oh. anything here Hey B Thanks for the raid Can someone please <laughs> give B a shout out Welcome in raiders We are playing some vampire And I've been dying for like four times now. I'm really, really angry. I'm trying to do some uh, side quests here on Vampire. And we are playing as a vampire. Trying to understand what happened to us. And I don't know much more about it. <laughs> Did you complete the chap chapter B? Of Inner World? Oh, fuck it. Ah ha ha ha! Oh my! What? Uh, oh my God! He's killing me! A plot twist! Fuck! <sighs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> So what was the plot twist? Are we doing that counter again? Come on! Right, let's... Is that how it's gonna be? Just gonna raid and leave? Come on! <clears throat> well, the problem is that I usually don't have the time to look at my settings on Twitch. You know, guys, I'm just start streaming usually. Oh! <laughs> yeah, but you know, shads. I'm playing on console, you know. Do I have a better weapon than this machete, maybe?
change. No, I think I upgraded that one. Oh well. But can't mods do that? Can we do this now? Please? Can we sneak up on them or something? How the hell did it see me? Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, but I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh my god! <sighs> yeah, I think it's time for the revolver to do its job. Or the shotgun, maybe. Are you still playing some Street Fighter moped? Where are the fucking rats? <laughs> so you can watch me die all over and over again. He didn't even aim at me, what the hell is this? Oh! Mind his void. Oh fuck! Can you please die? Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. Ouch! Do you have any thoughts on this? Yeah. Ah! <coughs> right, just the big dude left. What the? Oh. Yeah, that doesn't work. Ah! Ouch! Ah! 
So guys, the plot twist in Inner World, please tell me. <coughs> Fine, early. I'm gonna die to, for, to something else now instead. Steel report leading to Pembroke Hospital. Which fucking report? Yeah, loot a lot, come on. Large box of pills? <laughs> oh my god. Ah! I'm gonna read that soon. <laughs> I looked at your message and then I was attacked. Oh my god. Please die, vermin. Where are my collectibles? The Great Hunt. Oh my god. It turns out you're the son your mom and dad ruled the world. The ma monk killed all the flute people and left you alive. But why did they leave Flutie alive? She has like, acts like a mental patient to hide her true unholy condition. I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature whining about her need for blood since her body is decaying. <coughs> Are we done now? Finally. I hope that was a checkpoint now, please. It sounds like a sad story, dude. Is that why he sounds like an idiot and so melancholy at the same time? On. Oh no, a big boy. Ah. Please die. Stamina is gone. <sighs> okay. Time to find our way back. Mm, can't be here, right? 
No, this is... Yeah, to the White Chapel. <sighs> is there something? Yes. What? Oh. Maybe we should kill that uh, dude on the second floor. So we can gain some XP. Teresa usually is on the first floor. Oh, Thelma, sorry. Got it. How are you two? I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Hapcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? <sighs> it was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept <laughs> some advice from a petty mortal, Do we think she's a vampire or a creature? A low profile. I'm not so sure about that. Into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in Watery mind. rich blood sample. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim <coughs> died. And then I knew I was Be undone you by the blood. I saw a vampire. Here in London. Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. <laughs> You're a delusional woman. Danger or delusional? What do you guys think? You are no vampire. You are a delusional woman, convinced she is something she is not. How convenient to call delusional anyone who does not share your precious rationale, Dr. Reed. Potato, tomato. Hey, Zandres. I'll leave you, Mistress. How are you doing today? Potatis, tomatis. Of course I can. Good evening, Mr. Albert. Evening, Dr. Reed. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? Oh, that's okay. Put one little for shield, but that's all right. It happened during the leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get well, it an accident that could have happened to anybody. Beauty is not everything. You can't hide forever. You know you can't hide forever. One day you'll have to face your loved ones. Until that day you have no chance of real recovery. My friends all died in the trenches. It's shameful enough to be alive for these stupid scars. I don't want my children to see me like this. Well, I can kill you if you want. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. The one new Paul Freda, wa? The hotel was a shithole. 
There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to we avoid didn't going back start the, the fire. It's not uncommon, you know. No. Lord, oh. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will you? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> well, don't I have any... I could kill him, but wouldn't the Thelma for now, Mr. be sad about that? Klockan 19. Vi får se om jag kan kika förbi. Det brukar vara familjekväll då, vet du. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to Strickland or Shitland. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. <coughs> Hur länge kommer du hålla på då, tror du? With the influenza and all that's going on. You should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Why is everyone lying to me? I don't understand. Tell me, Thoreau, what's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Ackroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced ah, that what Dr. Ackroyd Android. really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Then who is? Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of... Alright, should I continue with the main you quest or do another side quest? Must I agree. But that does what do you guys think? Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? Ja, då är det bra att du har väl andra månader också, eller hur har du inte då? Som hälsar väl på att Karolins äh, hagelbössa kommer ju gå varm. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I don't like Dr. Swansea. Fuck is he then? Swansea is a dick bag. Do you need something, Jonathan? I have just a few questions. Then ask away. I'm at your service, Doctor. You mentioned something about a secret society. A brotherhood if I recall. Could you elaborate? Certainly. I've been a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole for several years. 
We are pledged to monitor Yo, Kevs. and report vampire activity in England as impartial mm, Take care, Sandris. That explains your nightly wanderings about the docks and the questions you ask. How are you doing, Kev? It wasn't mere coincidence that led us to that part of town. <laughs> Do you so? What the hell? Scene that set those chain of events in motion. Yet you don't fear me. And still, you know the monster that lurks beneath the civilized surface. The Brotherhood has studied your kind for centuries. We believe you are as supernatural as a lion is to a gazelle. Okay. Since you seem quite the expert on vampires, what could you tell My me condish, about condition. how it came about? <laughs> As men of science, our first step is always to start with what we know. Forget the myths, the hackneyed scrawlings and the penny dreadfuls. They do not scratch the surface of the truth you now find yourself in. Okay. The sun. The morning following my transformation. Its rays burned me. There was pain, smoke, uh, and my skin blackened. You will find there is very little that can kill a vampire, my friend. You have been offered relatively... I've been killed orders. like seven times this stream. The sun will most certainly hurt you, leaving you weakened and damaged. <clears throat> but it will not destroy you. No, I Must haven't played I the masquerade. Life to live. You are a vampire. You feed but I've heard great things about that game. That or is, or is Bloodlines the new game? And only a living creature contains the nourishment you require. And what the hell does that mean? Do I have to kill? Since I'm the one working for you, what should I know about Pembroke Hospital? Well, for many years we have been the only medical facility in this part of town that people can rely on. We support the community here, as well as provide health care. Where do we stand today? Oh, is he a dick bag as well? We cope on a day to day basis. <coughs> the first wave of the Spanish flu last summer took us by surprise. We lack many of the basic necessities needed. What do you expect of me? What we need is hope. You were a soldier. This is a war. This white coat's still a uniform. We fight to help the poor. The sick of the East But wi which game released Dottie. last year? Was it maybe... Black Swan or something maybe? The man we Wasn't that the... Uh, vampire the Masquerade? William Bishop, I believe. Was he a vampire? He was a skull, technically speaking. And what's the, the difference between a skull and a vampire? Some think them a subspecies of vampire, others something else. Oh, maybe it's swans I'm thinking Where about. How do skulls come into existence? The name means slave. The etymology may indicate that they are a lesser species of vampire. From what I know, vampires tend to despise them. Just for clarity, what differences are there between myself and a, a skull? A skull is easier to eliminate, Jonathan. Even if they remain formidable foes for the unprepared. Vampires... Now... Vampires exist beyond the mortal realm. I have met Lady Ashbury. She's a fascinating woman, wouldn't you agree? I'm feeling played. I really try to help her. Is she the reason you recruited me? Is she the true reason you recruited me? To work on her condition and addiction for blood. A part of me is thinking I've been... Welcome back, B. Lady Ashbury is a cherished friend of mine. I would not betray her secrets without... So, her how was the uh, inner world? Come to the rescue of a damsel in distress. I ask nothing more. I heard uh, that plot twist and it was kind of sad. The matter of Lady Ashbury's... Blackmailer. I know too much about this matter already. I'm confident in And did you complete the game or do you have some chapters left? The hospital and our lady into your able hands. 
We'll see each other again soon, Edgar. I hope I can kill you soon, Edgar. Where the fuck is my room? It's locked, all right. <laughs> oh my god, you're dead. The problem is I missed a bit of uh, <coughs> of your game, so I, I haven't been following following the the story as much, sadly. It feels like it was today, B, but I might be wrong. Can we analyze these? How oh, nice to view blueprints. <laughs> what? what? The fuck happened? Treatment for cold. Oh well. <coughs> of course, you haven't you been playing for like four hours or something? Uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Are you sure you're you're not one that make it crash? Reach me. Yeah, let's do this. Might as well. Oh, here. Can I teleport over the water now? Oh? Can I get some blood? Finally? Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells oh my like glorious mountain air. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy. Was it Thatcher I, I released or helped in the in the sewers? No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? But were there two or three games of Inner World? I argument with a friend. Got to see that he's fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in despite my claustrophobia. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? You wanted me to go to a hospital. I can't stand being closed. Are you going to play them back to back? I feel like I'm suffocating. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? Yeah, that's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. <laughs> I can kill you. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? 
No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Uh... As a soldier, you're expected to kill the enemy to survive. Guilt is a powerful emotion and could lead to feelings of You know, Mo, but I think everyone is lying to me. Oh God, you're so wrong. Believe me, I would kill if it happened again. Violence is part of who I am. Oh. Hint failed. Fuck. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Oh, <laughs> so it's the game that's pr that's the problem. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed of the Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance, Dr. Reed? So it's you who saved my friend Oswald. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me, I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. Rats? What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir, the stench of death everywhere, your mates lying bleeding in the mud, just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We stuck together ever since. Are you talking about the first or the second game, P? I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon, but it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary. Oh, then people seem to be enjoying it, and Twice. so so do you. <coughs> and it is really fun. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year <laughs> following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. Yeah, that's a say, a say something, B. There were rats. Go on. It started to eat <coughs> as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears. My fingers. Lips. No, come on, you can't do that. <coughs> Couldn't call for help. Oh well, <laughs> it's it's up to you. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. You, you have to be in, uh, close to the end, B. He found me and saved me. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care. Take care of yourself. I just want Take to kill lot. someone. One more chapter. So maybe two or three hours left then. Depending on how well the puzzles are going. Some solution seems to be <laughs> really out there, to be honest. Nope. Oh. Uh oh. And 
and up maybe? Ah, uh, well, they are, they are just idiots, you know. <coughs> it's, it's a point of click game, come on. You try every, everything, anything and everything on every fucking thing. And then you have the solution. Whoa! A boss fight? I don't want to fight a boss. Oh. <coughs> exactly. Ah. Oh. <coughs> I almost said something else, but uh, you're exactly right, B. Oh my God! Leave me be. Oh, yeah, I had one left. Oh! One more. Fuck. Ah! Holy hell. Yeah, Doobie, thank you. But it was really unexpected, to be honest. And you know, with the great power comes great responsibility. The difficulty is only on normal, dude. I'm just suck at this game. Well, I don't know about that B, but thank you. Jump. More money. Maybe I'm just... I don't, I don't understand all the mechanics, probably. But it killed me out of nowhere. Up. Can we please? Yes. Thank you. Oh, wrong person. Fuck. Ah. S stop teleporting, mother. Ah. Where are you? Ah! <laughs> yeah, mother trucker, exactly. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh! Jeez! Come on! I'm almost dead. Oh, fuck. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm under level or just just bad at the game. Only mopeds know. Only moped knows. <laughs> mother trucker and mother clucker. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Regardless of the other option. You what do you mean bar stool? Oh. But he he is right though. Come on, mother. Up. Yeah, resist this. Fucking ass. Oh my. That's cheating. Fight me head on, dude. Oh my. I couldn't even move, what the hell? They cornered me. What? <laughs> Did we trigger a, a, a save spot or checkpoint here? Apparently. Come on! <sighs> Stop me! Dead again. Oh my. Maybe I should just hit them with my sword instead. Senare i dag då. Länge sedan nu är läget. What the? Toppen, det låter ju strålande. Jag är lite förkyld men annars är det bra. Då. Ska inte klaga. Förutom att det går piss på det här spelet. Vad gör du då? Vad 
trivs du fortfarande på jobbet på... Mastinstationen, um, eller macken. Halv fem? Ja, det är ingen mänsklig tid. Härligt, härligt. Ah! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> Senare länk och... Tack för lurken! Oh my god, I'm gonna die again! Det är fucking ridiculous. Oh my! His freaking shadow. Nu <laughs> lägger med längt då. Jag vet inte vad som händer. Det bara dunkar in. <laughs> Men det är lika bra för det går så jäkla dåligt nu. Men du hade väl ändå ganska nära till jobbet, hade du inte det idag? Come on, no! Vilken tid på fredag blir det? Länk. Ja, fem minuter. Det är ändå uppkomligt. Ah. Ja, jag vet inte vad vi har planerat för helgen, men ska jag... Ah, jag kan höra med familjen om jag kan om de kan avvara mig en liten stund i alla fall. Fuck! Resisted, fuck it. I'm a cop. Ah. Ja, men uh, vi är ju faktiskt fem i den här familjen. Men! Fuck! Oh. Need to. Keep track of my stamina. Varannan bana. Ja, det är ett alternativ. Brukar, det är väl ändå ingenting som går på tv klockan åtta en fredag. Right, I'm just gonna try this one or two more times then just fuck this. Om inte Mobit har några tips. <laughs> Nej, jag tror du överskattar med vad jag tittar på vad jag tittar på för någonting. Om vi ser så här lätt stans eh, är det ingenting för mig. Ja. Ah. Yeah. Get good, don't get hit, you know. Oh my, stamina again. Ja, oh. varken agenda eller på spår. Eh, telefack! Det är ju tre barn så det brukar inte vara så mycket att titta på tv. 
<laughs> I'm dead again. Fuck! Ja, yeah. det är fuck vi tittar på. <clears throat> well, it is uh, kind of fun. It's just I'm bad at the, me at the fighting and mechanics. Stamina again. Oh! How could I miss him? Oh no. Oh! He just keeps on teleporting all over the place. Slåna på pungen. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, stamina. 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 Oh
If you're not strong enough, remember that the blood of a citizen, yeah, no. Oh my god, ho he took half my health bar? Were you blind or something? Maybe he is. Ah! Alright. Just a dick bag, maybe. Oh my. What am I doing wrong then? Except for being hit, Mopet. Oh my. That fucking ass! Drained almost my entire health bar. I'm gonna die immediately. Ah! His fucking shadow is in the way. Ah! Ah! Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ah! No, ho. Oh, no. Fucking bullshit. Why the hell do I get 5 XP <laughs> each time I lose? Fuck you. Well, I dodged right into him.
Oh, God. why can't I move? Oh, shit. Yeah, there will probably be uh, like a million tries on this fucker. Nice try, dude. Darn! Let me reload in peace! Not anymore! Fucker! Medication. Never a good move. <laughs> so you mean my opium isn't isn't good? Blade of this random dude I've never known <laughs> what the feet come on dude. <clears throat> my name is Melania. Blade of Mikolo. <sighs> Blade of Mikke. Oh, we need to. Okay. Fuck. I don't want to. I don't want to fight you guys, but I have to. You were in the way. Sorry. <sighs> More P. 
people, come on. Step away! <laughs> what are you waving at? Stop waving it as a, like a feather duster. <laughs> Put your hand in the air like you just don't care. Come on! Oh, we don't have to go that way? We need to find Shetland as well. Good evening, Doctor Strick, and good evening to you, Doctor Reed. Can I be of any help? I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you've ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to kill. This dreadful deep storage. <laughs> I am <laughs> never, never going, going back to deep storage again. Without success, Ever. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mix. <laughs> Come on. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Very funny, huh? huh? I want to know about these secret tests you run. I want and to know about the secret tests. This epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but or I'll forever just hold your peace. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my dear colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You can't be serious. You have to stop this before you lose yourself. Lives are at stake here, remember. I'm a competent doctor and my value has been proven already. I am an incompetent I'm doctor. To hear you okay. Above all, speaking so ill of me. <coughs> <laughs> Should I press him for details? No. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Don't I have all of these things? Maybe. Your med medical desk is this. Oh wait, the can we do something dying. here? It needs, it needs water. water. Yeah, we know.
<laughs> Haven't you seen it before? <laughs> it's kind of weird, yeah. But maybe they made it for me, you know? What the hell do they mean? My... To your medical desk. Where the fuck is my med medical desk? They knew I was coming, you know? Spend some money on this? Nope. So where the fuck is my medical desk? Oh. Strickland's project could be dangerous. Placebo. I'm to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. When does a thing become retro? Oh, that's a broad question, B. I would say maybe three generations back? Two or three? Alright, should we report Shitland or should we give in the... Or should we give him the placebo? I don't like him at all. Any thoughts? I cannot enter. Fifteen years, yeah, maybe. Where the fuck is Acroydon? Yeah, well it is, Mopit, whether you like it or not. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I go soon? Are we done here? Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Have you heard anything else? Lady. Liars and every last one of them. No, I don't think so. Didn't they release uh, I'm quite busy a remaster right a remaster on that? Uh, your help uh, Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. You consider him a good practitioner, yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. Are you sure about that? Uh, 
Fuck it. I know that you're a busy man, but I could use your help and advice. The great Dr. Reed honors me with a request. What is it exactly? Dr. Strickland devised an experimental drug for the Spanish flu that he asked me to manufacture. You know what I think of fringe medical experimentation? That's exactly why I want you to keep the result, Doctor. I made sure it won't harm anyone, but I'd like you to take care of it. I see. Put it in my cabinet. I'll give you the key. I'll make sure no one uses this medication by mistake. I'll do that. Thank you for your help, Dr. Ackroyd. Thank you for your trust on the matter, Dr. Reed. So, was that Thank good you or bad? Time. We'll talk later. Is it on the second floor, maybe? Uh, not sure. <coughs> Why do you ask, P? Was there for any particular reason? Locked all right. Swansea. <laughs> and what's your guys' take on the matter? The door has been unlocked. Can we loot the shit of his? Locked, all right. Nope. Oh, money. Thank you. Okay. Park. It's locked. It's locked, it's locked. all right. <laughs> we couldn't decide. But like I said, I would say like two generations back, so P3 games and then 360. Has been warned. He should make good use of this formula. Yeah, PS2 and Xbox are definitely retro. <laughs> and uh, that depends on the game. It's, uh, if there's were ground breaking and still are, then are they considered retro? I'm not sure about so sure about that. <sighs> Enter at your own risk. That depends because a movie can be ah both retro and uh, and a uh, cult classic, but a, a cult classic doesn't have to be that old, in my opinion. Fuck. Die, fucker. But you can't, guys can ask Mo, but he's, he's good at uh, old movies. And probably what's a retro and or old. Yeah. 
<laughs> Everything after 1950 is a modern movie. There you have the answer, guys. Oh yeah, we've been here. God. Oh, rats. I can't believe I'm doing this. Of course you can. This is despicable. Would I kill these guys like a hundred times? Oh, oh my God. That mean your your retro B? Oh, more shit heads. Beast. Is that like the sewer beast, maybe? Uh oh. Oh no! Well, a bit easier than sewer beast. Have to yell, mope it. Over there. How could he hear me? So, what are we looking for? The White Chapel. Old Road. Oh no. I don't want to hurt anyone else. Well, you're standing in my way. Oh, 
One more. Please be the last. Uh oh. My God, beefy dude. Come up. What the hell? Oh, my stamina was gone. Fuck. Any loot here? No. Oh, I have to kill this again. <laughs> what a spamming! work sometimes the hell? Stop it! Oh no! Stop! Roger the wall. the dead not yet oh my god Oh! 
I missed. Yeah, Roger the dead. Please open the door. Am I going the wrong way? No. White Chapel. Fuck yeah. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. <sighs> More searching. Pills. Where are you? Are you dead? Oh! He was angry. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened? Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. No one can help me. Not even you. <laughs> Everyone says that. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see, long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. Ben the Tramp. <laughs> That's a Perhaps wicked name. You could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. Is he drunk? Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that. I'm sick in the end, you see, and the boy just, just, just faked me last nerve. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for it too. I need some pills. And the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? The word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Oh. Can I give someone else this letter? A gun, or just him? alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible. Co I won't end up another drunk arsehole. Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Well, fuck you too. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything, it ain't me. <sighs> medication and drugs are a rare commodity in East London. So you picked an easy target, didn't you? Sod off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. 
Oh, the mouth on this kid. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> oh my god. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. <laughs> You're so gullible. Free? You may soon find out that you have simply traded one set of shackles for another. You all fancy words, none of which concern me. Don't no, but I think Mope else. and uh, Billy I'll Lurks recommended here. the first game. Goodbye. Wasn't it Mope it? Where the fuck did you go, ass? Where the fuck did he go? Can I track people? Oh, Palmer has fatigue? It's all a bloody joke to you, eh? Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. <laughs> it didn't age well. Oh. <clears throat> what is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, buddy. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Dishonor! Stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. Who's Adam Jansen? We're down here? Yeah. A gun, alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? <laughs> no, thank you. I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my Ooh. brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. A fellow healer. Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say... Camellia the mute florist who gives Are you joking now, Mopet? What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? A Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Um required. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. I'd like to see what kind of... What are you selling? <laughs> Pretty steep. It 
we'll say cocaine. Codeine. Isn't that what uh, Dr. House takes? Yeah, let's take that fucker then. The swan rip cordial can be the answer to all your problems. As long as you have the money. I could get some work. Everything will be better. Dead as a goat. Oh? What's this? Damn, that's a bloodbath. Ring and the cigarette case. <laughs> What's with the rings? Can I sell them? Good thing I can't read them. <clears throat> right? What's with these cigarette cases? Pills? Clover essence? I have one for fatigue, maybe I can give that little poor boy that. Keep out. Hello. <laughs> Am I gonna die again? Up. Not. What did I pick up? No, I don't want to go out. Vi har inte gjort någon progress överhuvudtaget idag, Mopet. <laughs> I've died and died and died again, you know. <laughs> Okej, okay, two meters then. to see if I can 
level up or something, or should I m wait? Maybe I should wait with that. But we can check the other doors first. Okay. It doesn't matter. It would be nice if we can if we could complete this miss mission before ending today. Said it again. I can't believe I'm doing this. As long as, oh, okay. As long as you have the money. Don't be afraid. Officer, please take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. Oh Would my like god, look at his face. It's, it looks kind of like weird. Doctor, or at least his mouth. Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night <laughs> I can hardly refuse. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Oh. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Once and for all. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything <laughs> out of the ordinary recently? What do you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Mm -hmm. Have you been hurt? No, <coughs> A new investigation. Like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Um, hint required. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then. You always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. <laughs> Blame the migrants. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away <laughs> Is this a family stream? For free. Are you sure about I that? To sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. <coughs> oh. New hints. Right. Do you have anything? Yeah, maybe it, maybe it isn't. <laughs> I fucking hope not. Oh my god. And you guys think I'm dirty in the mouth? Come on. Ah, fuck it. Oh wait, whoops. Mind your fucking language. Come on. Excuse me, sir. I have oh, oh my god, he looks really short. Our 
Martin answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, the son. But Colossus Joe the most. What should I call them, dumb, then, Moped Midget? May I ask what you do oh no, the unicorn is back! No! No! Take it away! Take it away! According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is Colossus? What do you mean racist? Because I call him short? Come on, dude. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look but look, and look, I always look my at this in the point of view. He looks really short. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up all boys. Hey, B. Or should we call you Shorty now? So you're racketeering. I got enlisted by the wet boot boys, a gang from... No, no, Shadz. Oh, Only if you don't count his hair, then he's, uh, then he's taller than bees. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you make. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons. And that's that. Oh, I'm my... not sure Mr. Lewis <sighs> would agree with your... By all means necessary. He's this associate hair, maybe? Or what what you meant to say, Shads? Long ago I even called the bastard my best friend. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane. Yeah, I'll know. One of the few good souls is there to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. P. Oh, he looked taller when I approached him. But yeah, he was short. Hello, young. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to <laughs> Come ask on, you a dude. <laughs> May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father died <sighs> in our house, you see. Let Your me in, you fucker. Worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me. Okay. Come on in. Yeah, I agree with B. To the corner. And wank that away, please. May I ask you a few questions? I'm not he looks bothered. really sick. What could be worse? Oh, it's Eeyore. How do what you could be worse? Fine. I mean, it's not easy every day. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm tired of being sick. tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough. Well, you know. mm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot. He makes idiot things. One fifty-two. Well, then you're taller than I am, B. Young man, but you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Uh. <laughs> Your situation can only improve. Come on, don't be a dick. I'm sure your father did his best when he found this house. Times are tough for everyone, young man. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. Boo hoo. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I, I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father knowing. Whoa, so, so you sprouted from like 60 centimeters to 152 so in one year? 
for fear. That's pretty death. cool. I'm not afraid of disease or death, <laughs> Doctor Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. It's not dying. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? Yeah, and stay there, Shads. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. We can see which mod has the bigger sword in this Have chat. Tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am exactly. I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. Yeah, but that violin goes crazy all the time. Goodbye, young man. Is there only pain and suffering? Are we gonna rob <laughs> rob this fucker as well? Ha ha ha! Give me the pills. We got some good shit here. Come on, Eeyore, stop talking. No one's listening to you. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, money. Thank you. Is this a bad action? Like, <laughs> taking these people's things? <laughs> now I missed that freaking... Can I see that again? Nope. He didn't get a job, that's for sure. If you ever suspect someone to be a vampire, don't try to kill it yourself. You have no chance. Instead, contact me or try to inform a professional vampire killer. Clarence Crossler. Vampires are real. Defend your community. Okay. Bollocks. Bye. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? <laughs> Mr. Downer. Oh, priest. The disease upon us is not an accident of nature. Forgive my interruption. Hey, Dad. I apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. <laughs> not and not just dishonor, just look at his face. Quite a judgmental opinion when he's talking, it looks really weird. What do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? But the best thing... <laughs> but uh, the city. look at uh, Jonathan's jacket, it looks really great. And that's the... I am. But the and that's what I matters. Based on facts, not superstitions. What do you mean? Oh, it's quite a you. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. Oh, uh, yeah. You must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish. It's, it looks like he's sucking in his. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, lip when he's talking. Or like this. It's really weird. I've seen them. Those minions from the abyss. The abyss. Really? 
And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. <laughs> Burn it all down! Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this? Burn it all! <laughs> Science and progress are our only hope against the monstrosity hidden behind this epidemic. See, Doctor? Now you acknowledge the presence of evil within the city's walls. Now you start to admit the truth. Fuck! Asshole. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. <laughs> and where is that? Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the uh -oh. pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching Holy crusade. during the epidemic. As a true believer. <coughs> As a true believer. We can fight evil. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. Abhor? So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern health care. Why does he move like he's uh, drunk as hell? Male patients. It's obvious only they have a necessary moral fiber. Mm -hmm. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than... As patients? fuck. Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Yeah, as fuck. Everyone is moving like that for some reason. Yeah, maybe they're they're on the really hard drugs like opium or something. All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are seeking. Haven't we heard this? No. I'm done with enough. you. Some opium party, maybe. Maybe we should, uh, time to go to the the house with a Y on it. Up. The hell? Oh, I have to kill him, okay. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh damn. Stop hit me! And please die. Nom 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 nom. Up! Dead. Die! Come on!
secret case and bullets. Maybe it's time to go back. I'll probably die soon. Is that Samuel? Good evening. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Dr. Reed. <laughs> I would like to ask you a few questions. Did it teleport? Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town. Richard. I speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott at your side. <laughs> Nithercott. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor. All are equal in the eyes of the flu. If you in the eyes of the Lord, you mean? But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death oh. of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Quite a unique point of view. My mother loved poetry. Perhaps your words would have touched her sensitive nature. I only see a dreadful disease. Most people <coughs> fail to understand my Well, people are really, really happy, at least. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. You're gonna beat yourself I in the city? Your need for solitude, but it's not safe. I don't care. I don't have many. He's moving as well, like he's and my drunk. Me. It has to be the opium. If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear doctor. Uh. Tell me, Mr. Nevercom. Why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Do you not think it's <laughs> a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of hush, beauty. Posh, posh. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Where the not fuck much. is Camellia? That's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I'd prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Yeah, really In dull. way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the added hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. 
And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Oh I yes, repeat exactly what I said. We're done here. I'll leave you alone. I'm not so sure I should be here right now. Door has been unlocked. Oh, did we make a shortcut or something? For a free medical checkup hidden between the flowers. If you're sick, if you have no money, wherever you are, wherever you're, from, wherever you're from. Oh, and we seen this. <laughs> Come see Dor Dor Dorothea for to get help. No tricks, no charges. What the hell was that about, Morris? I haven't killed anyone yet. Good evening. I'm Dr. Wee. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. Oh, is that Camellia? A stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. Well, I have only killed uh, bad people and monsters. Is she a mute? Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispenser. <laughs> Stubborn and mute comrade. They attacked no, first. Darius Petrescu. <laughs> I know you understand what I'm saying. We're gonna torture. What are you gonna Your torture son, yourself, Shads? What do you mean? Uh, wank Tell it me off, then have fun, Shads. I I thank you for being here. He is quite fond of you, Camellia. Very well. Yeah, I, I thought so, Morris. <laughs> thank you for being here, Shads. Need the Queen Banjo. Need the Skin Banjo. With his bare hands. The hell? Dinosaur rar. This looks like a dipshit. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to what you're reporting. Yeah, he's a dipshit. Perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's a disgrace. What have I said now, B? to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. The British. Any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? I must confess. Some of my rational views have exactly been British. I'll remember to stay away from the district's roughest streets then. What is it? Yeah, I say, uh, that's why I say fuck Clayton. He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go to inform the country. 
So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same. Just look at his glasses. And he moves like he's drunk as well. It is an opium party, come on. What the hell is that? Looks like he's beating himself. And not in a good way. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist. Hoping oh, an independent. You can't get job anywhere. My ass face. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Mr. Darby. Would you like me to uh. All right, all right. Let's talk to her, and then we'll be shy. <laughs> go back to the house. What can Christina do for you? I'm not oh, creepy. What you're selling, but I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right then, but be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Christina, have you been examined? The yep, Maris, a lady of the night. You could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of... Yeah, Shels is touching himself all, all right. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with... Their health would not be what you'd worry about. Uh. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time. Until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from. Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley. <laughs> oh my before god. going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Right to brass tacks, you know. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. No conversation, but they want you to open your mouth? I don't understand. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. Can this someone please explain? Especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. It is not your concern. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her. But I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone mm -hmm. should respect that. Are you sure she's helping? Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back now. Oh, wait. Fucking bullshit. We can't get higher up? Nope. And where was the way back? Do -do -do. No, but can I water my plant at, at my my office? <laughs> I'm not 
gonna meet Bell in this one. I, I'm playing um, Edward's father, you know. The doctor. Whatever his, uh, his face is. Daily routine! Daily routine. Exactly. Fuck you! You again? What do you want this time? I can hit you in the face. Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else, whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peters? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since confidence, the criminal you nature say? of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt a bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Varför ska alla björnhänder för? Jag fattar inte. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. People won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. <laughs> exactly, Mars. That was uh, what I'm asking. And there's no way you'll endure another disappointment. It's, it looks like he has regular hands Goodbye, to me. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose. Have I missed something here? Oh! Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. One would think that moped, but I think you're wrong. Just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a <coughs> decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Uh... Taking out your anger on others is nothing but cowardice. And Colossi are quite famous for tumbling down. We've all had some rough times, haven't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. Okay. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against a wet boot boy. Boy. <laughs> and handed it to him. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile. Yeah, it Not could like be. But doesn't the um, they call Rams? So maybe he rammed him? Tough, all right, but he needs to grow up here. What troubles him exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Or am I mistaken, maybe? Goodbye for <laughs> Nothing here. Right, let's go. Don't disappoint me. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm just Dr. kicking Reed. the fucking door. Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now goodbye. I'm afraid this medical treatment says the opposite. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't that easy, okay. What the hell? It's locked. 
everything is fucking locked here. I'm su supposed to be here, but there's no way around. Oh wait, maybe here. Fuck this map. Open the fucking door, dude. No one's there. <laughs> oh. The f oh my god. Right, it was uh, it was my character a character that said that no one's there because that old dude won't open the door for us. <laughs> yeah, fear the old blood. Or get mended by the blood. Die. No body count now, Morris. Find a way. To that geezer. <laughs> Contagious disease. I cannot enter. I cannot enter. It's like COVID all over again, you know? Keep out. Yeah, I can't go that way. Fuck. Can't go up. Can't we just go past this shit? Right. Jag hoppas att jag missar det. Jag orkar inte mer. Nu går vi på rätt väg. I would like to say fuck you too, Mopit. <laughs> but uh, it feels kind of worn, worn out. Or 
torn down, maybe. Oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> Can we get up or do we have to really run so freaking far? Like where I was earlier, maybe? I come from the other side. Yep. I Barricade and barricaded as well. There isn't another way. What the hell? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Do you mean B? Can we shoot this fucker? Oh, I can't even use my gun here. Come on. It's locked. Yeah. Shit bags. What's a CBD drink? It's like a cough medicine or something? <laughs> My god, any ideas guys? Because I, I don't have the time for this. Or even the patience. Legal? No, oh, okay. <coughs> because the map is fucking horrible. And I can't just kick in the fucking door. I will return later. Yeah, let's go to the hideout instead. If I can find a way there. Too late! <laughs> Too late, moped. And no, I didn't eavesdrop. Can we gain more? I think I would like more stamina if I can. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it.
maybe, but that will be uh, during my next stream then. It would be fun to complete uh, <laughs> this mission today, but I'm getting too tired to be honest. But thank you guys for being here. It was <laughs> a bit fun. Not dying all the time, but <laughs> I'm used to it now. And uh, I'm not really sure when I can stream next because I got a lot of work to do. But we'll see if I can find some time for it. I'm gonna raid Shad's <laughs> uh, playing Banjo Tooie. And until next time, take care guys. Bye.